My name is Fabulous Flanoy, and I've been in the industry for over 21 years. My biggest advice is to make sure you enjoy what you're doing um, and be passionate about it. Uh, and to make sure you take advantage of being a student, you know, because I think sometimes you get caught up, caught up uh, in the future you and not necessarily concentrating on the present you. Prepared to engage. I think in this day and age we live in, I think you, you know, a lot of students are um, uh, social media ready, tech ready, uh, but they still lack an engagement at the end of the day. You have to be able to engage um, uh, uh, people. You have to be able to engage uh, the people you're training, the people you're training with. You have to be able to engage uh, your, your, your teammates, uh, the people that you work with. So engagement, would, I would suggest to be a, a really good uh, part to work on. <laughs> uh, uh, knowledge. Um, and obviously skills are, are important but skills can only take you but so far. I think understanding, and this is any sport, uh, I think understanding the game, understanding the tactics, the dynamics. I think, in the, again, in this day and age that we're living in, you know, there's so much science behind it. Uh, I think you, you, the analytics, I think the analytics can help. It's not the end all and be all, but it helps. Uh, and I also feel that the, the other side is good nutrition. Um, you know, it's, it's one thing um, working on, you know, the skill, the, the skills. It's another thing working on the analytics, the brain, but it's also a thing of working uh, on your body and understanding what good nutrition is. A 16-year-old me, wow. That's going back some time. A 16-year-old me um, would be, uh, take advantage of the moment uh, and again take advantage of the, the situation especially when I was in college at 16 I didn't necessarily appreciate it uh, as, as much as I do now um, and I think you know looking around in, in, in this in this gym that we're in uh, taking full advantage of this the teachers uh, the students the, the environment to maximize the future you Treat everything as if it's the first time you're doing it, um, and appreciate it uh, because you never know when it's when it's when it's gonna when it's gonna end. So take the time out to you know treat everything as if it's the first time that you're doing it. My mom, <laughs> good old mom. You know, without without a shadow of a doubt. You know, uh, mom and and also um, the future me. Um, because every day I'm, I'm striving to improve um, the future me. Um, and again, the future me is, is going to be dictated by the present me. Uh, getting to work with people every day and the fact of um, my job is not a job. It's, it's what I do. I don't, I don't like using the, the, the connotation of, of job. I don't look at it that way. I, and believe me, um, I'm not one of these type of people that say that uh, every day, uh, I'm, you know, everything, every day everything is going to go right. It's, it's not. You're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days. But when you love what you do and you do what you love, it's not a job. What's next for me is uh, continuing to improve. Um, I think in, in the industry, I've been in the industry for about 21 years, and I'm still learning, I'm still growing, uh, I'm still um, uh, maximizing uh, my potential. Uh, and, and I think that that's the challenge. Uh, the, the challenge is, you know, um, can you uh, treat everything as if it's the first time? Um, and, and, and trying to see everything through uh, not rose tinted glasses, but trying to see everything uh, clearly and, and, and taken out as much as I can from it.